the one that said this morning that out of all the new cars that were built for this year, at least mine hasn't had any mechanical issues. Got a bunch of open circuits. It could be a ground. I'm gonna check a ground. She's dead. Morning, sunshine. Good morning. Good morning. All right, what's the plan? Not hit the wall. You did hit the wall. We didn't talk about that. Hang on. Um, so yesterday in practice, everything was going really well. And then I was leading, dropped a tire on outside zone two, going over the hill, straightened me up a little bit, thought I was going to save it, wasn't going to hit the wall. And then Josh Love kind of tapped me a little bit in the rear. Not his fault. It was definitely mine. Unfortunately, bumped us right into the wall a little bit. Luckily, Rome and Michael S. had an extra arm for me because that was the same arm that I hit in Long Beach. And then Josh Love also had a cool over because we bent ours a little bit. Now everything seems to be good. We pulled on the strut tower a little bit to straighten it out. And I think everything's going to be fine. So today's just go out, get a few laps, two, probably three or four before qualifying. Hopefully feel good and confident, go in and try and lay down a good run. So How many runs are we doing today? Because you did, you did a fair seven or eight yesterday, right? Yeah, I'm trying to do three or four. So I can four? do four. Yeah. On the set? It doesn't seem to be eating the tires nearly no, as quick. No, I can get three laps. You can get three out of a set? I can get three laps. So okay. set. Are you going to run new tires for qualifying? Well, or something? I do four laps, no. Okay. Three laps, yeah. Oh, okay. So sure. Important business. <laughs> oh, you're good. changed it before practice. How would you change it? Just stiffened it up a little bit and make it a little bit easier to drive for qualifying. Uh, and also, it's really weird because people yeah. aren't that fast here. Um, I don't think a lot of guys are really focusing on speed right now and just working on getting all the clips and then maybe we'll put the grip back in it tomorrow, but it definitely makes the car harder to drive on this track, so nice. we'll see. That's why I come to have a good for the Watch your qualifying? How's the judging look? Perfect. Terrific. Kiss and ass, Jan. Looks good. What, what do you think they're looking for right now? Commitment, angle, style. Line? Line. <laughs> I don't know. So sideways. They're looking for all the judge criteria. That's what. That's they're... what it is. He's on it. Thanks for consulting, Jan. Checks in the mail. Next up, Pop Daddy, here we go. This is Jonathan Hurst, that AZ Rags E46 into that first outside zone. Loud and proud. This LS loves making some noise more ways than one. Thing looks a little hoppy going to that second outside zone. Not just popping, both hopping. And into that final outside zone. Well done. Well, he certainly has given himself some standout moments this year. Yeah. 
in both the first two rounds. He had that you know incident in Long Beach. Registering their scores and Jonathan Hurst gains an 81. How you feeling? Not bad. I don't know. After watching the run, I thought I got a decent score. At least it felt decent, but uh, I don't know. I think we got 81 or something, so probably good enough for one run, but we'll see. At least we're in for tomorrow. That's what counts, I guess. Where, do you, where did you need the improvement, do you think? Maybe initiation, but I still filled the zone. Um, and then in zone two, I like came off the camber and maxed angle and thought I was going to like chop the line a lot, but somehow I saved it. But I, I don't know. I mean, I felt like it was a decent run. We'll, we'll see. the temperature is changing so the track's gonna definitely be a lot different than what we've been driving on and then also it kind of looks like some rain so may have to think about that as well we'll see what we'll we'll see percent throttle and less than 10 psi fuel pressure we weren't low though huh we weren't low no correct okay so if i say this car we're looking at the lap count yep That's me entering. So, we were feeling good, confident going into practice. Thankfully, we haven't had any issues at all at the car this year. And someone actually said something today. It was like, you know, for a new build, you've had the least amount of issues. Well, they jinxed us. So we went out, made one practice lap, everything was good. Chase out Robin, T spun at the end, it was wet a little bit. Look, looks like we might have a little bit of rain, maybe not, we don't know. Then we went out for our second lap with JTP, entered really good and the car just died. I wasn't sure, went fire back up, got it towed back, towed it back, started up, then it shut off again. It was really weird to think how a dynasty, uh, he took, plugged into it real quick just to go over the log, make sure everything's good. Sorensen's gave us a sensor and then we didn't use that sensor and we used another one from Andy Haley, uh, AC Delco sensor, got it back in, double checked the wiring. Uh, everything looked fine, so I'm hoping just a crank sensor and we'll go from there and see. Uh, hopefully I'll go good for top three too.
I got this, brother. Oh, yeah. Let me grab a clamp. Hey, no fucking flopping. Oh, 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 let's go. <laughs> I never had the issue, so I just put a brand new AC Delco go back on it, just make sure. Yeah. Okay. Go on the ground, it's fine. Man, no wonder why I'm about to have issues. Just stealing your power. Just stealing your power. Just stealing your power. And remember, that's what happened in Long Beach. <laughs> Here we go. Daniel Stuckey, Jonathan Hurst. Oh, that should be fun. Stuckey's been been really on fire. Stuckey qualified qualified 10th. Hurst qualified 23rd. Stuckey into the second outside zone. Watch, listen to this thing. This thing is absolutely oh. And her straightens out. Oh. But I'm, I have to assume Hurst, if he feels confident, he can fix his car. But that is a crawl. Jumping on deck. Look at this. Oh, everybody jumping to the rescue. <laughs> hey, I get the light. It's shutting here. down again. Okay, you get any here. Plug up to it. Did you just lose sync and shut off on yeah, you again? Yeah. Hey, try to um, tell Aaron to try and unplug the cam since we're back here. Make sure it's not losing. Guys. Hey, make sure the cam sensor's tight. Can you get the cam sensor? Wires are okay. You got a bunch of DTCs, man. You guys got a bunch of open circuits. It could be a ground. I'm gonna check a ground. Check grounds on the back of the head. I'm gonna get hands clear, Frank. And see what happens. No RPM, crank bad. There's something wrong with the crank. Crank your can, crank your can. That's what they said. Anything on it, unseat it, reseat it, wiggle the wires on it. You had a problem with the wires over there? No, it's not. Hey, the wires are perfect. Okay. We just had the issue, you know what I mean? I changed the sensor, checked Wait, all the wires. Was it tight it. in there or was it loose? Okay.
start the set, uh, it start it started a couple times on the way. Yeah. And then so I, uh, on the way back, back yeah, yeah, yeah popped hard and ran. Okay, really quick. I need your best Jonathan Hurst impression. Position. What? Best. No. Come on. I can't do that. Yes, you can. No, not on camera. So uh, you just need to throttle it all the way, and if you're not ready to total your car, then you just uh, you need to just go home. I quit. I want to go to Chili's. Yeah. <laughs> this is Jonathan Hurst. We out here. We out here drifting. I'm gonna go to Chili's. <laughs> Telling everybody to wreck. I'm gonna win it or bin it. I'm out, I'm out of here. Y'all crazy. <laughs> you know what? I'm done. I'm getting a new team, Supra, and taking it. I'm getting some new friends. I'm out. I quit. Actually, I quit. You yawn real quick. You ready? Whoa! <laughs> hey, show the leg, show the leg. <laughs> oh, what? Well, we're going home. It was a bad weekend. No, but for real, we went in top 32 against Stuckey, and the car shut off. Again, we did it in practice. We didn't know what it was. We thought it was crank sensor because it wasn't having any RPM and it was throwing a crank sensor code. Checked all the wiring for it, put a new crank sensor in it, seemed good to go. Went to open ceremony, everything ran fine, popped it off the limiter. Burnout box was good. Initiated behind Stuki though, was that actually was a really poor initiation, but I made up for it instantly. Got straight to his door. I was gonna try and push him through the track and be super aggressive and the car what just shut off as soon as I got to his door. Thankfully, a couple teams helped push us back over. Sorensen's team came over, gave us a hand, pulled the log, look at it. Crank sensor was definitely bad. But yeah, pulled the log, checked everything. Same thing, crank sensor. We've checked everything right now. Currently, it's been like an hour or so since the battle. We still can't figure it out. Car won't even start no more. Um, so it sucks because Jan is actually the one that jinxed us. He's the one that said this morning that out of all the new cars that were built for this year, at least mine hasn't had any mechanical issues till today. We'll get it back home, go through it, fix it, figure out what's wrong, come out swinging for St. Louis. It just sucks that to go out like this, you know? Um, so, yeah, St. Louis. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. <laughs> She's dead. I think we should go home, park the race cars, quit FD. Next year, buy a boat. We should go wakeboarding. Go to the lake, go to the beach. Go somewhere other than here. I don't even know how to swim. I don't even know how to swim. See you in a while. Baby rays. Simon. Simon likes sweet baby rays. Simon loves He's obsessed with barbecue, barbecue sauce. sauce. Steak and barbecue sauce. Hang on, tell me he doesn't eat steak with barbecue sauce. Steak, broccoli, mashed potatoes, barbecue sauce. What a basic bitch. The camera. Let's see you're a big fan. Of fans? Yeah. I get it. It took me a second. <laughs> you're doing great. You're supposed to be working. I am working. No, you're not. This is my job. <laughs> Six, baby! Six! Six! <laughs> hey, if only you can bulb this good. Tapperoo? Maybe when everything's tight, it doesn't. Can it be that it's like wires are touching now that it's spun? Like certain, or shorting out or grounding? That's what we're thinking is that there's a ground on the inside of that that's attached yeah. to it. And it might be like touching something it's not supposed to now. Yeah. more voltage. Are you taking the door off so you can get out this time? Or in next time. <laughs> Yeah,